Art collectors and dealers descended on the Ninth Shanghai International Art Fair in town this week. It wasn't just nice pieces they were looking for; many visitors were seeking investment potential. However, the art investment business lacks solid guidance, and Shishu reports how the city's art galleries plan to contribute. 300 stalls opened at the art under a theme derived from the success of last year's event: invest in art and follow galleries. The truly valuable choice. The pitch for investment art was seductive, given current depression among stock market investors and confusion in property buyers. But the domestic and international galleries at the fair also offered valuable advice to a clientele inexperienced at turning art into wealth. Galleries are supposed to be the primary market for arts and crafts. Works appreciated by collectors and galleries go to the secondary market, which is the auction market. While in China, the buyers usually go directly to the secondary market without a good understanding of the art value. So we encourage local buyers to consult galleries for professional advice and assistance to make a worthwhile investment. The number of Chinese collectors has risen rapidly in the last two years, and industry turnover is building. The Shanghai Fair alone expects to do 100 million yuan business in five days, hosting 50,000 visitors. They will be drawn to such works as the last two pieces from the famous French artist Armand, who passed away in October, or several international galleries bringing the best of their collections. I am amazed at the number of people who come to our stand.、Um, they love、uh, the quality of the paintings and the variety of the paintings. We might be able to sell perhaps、uh, two or three paintings. Shanghai's 40 art galleries sell up to 5,000 pieces a year between them, with revenue increasing around 20% annually. Art experts say it's an economic effect. More people have the wealth to satisfy their artistic tastes. And there is an unusual investment advantage: if prices go down, you've still got something to appreciate. Xu Xin for Bizwatch.